Bharat Jagdev, the savior of the Guyanese people from those gangsters, Exxon and others. The man who was so upset with the PNC for not putting in ring fencing in Lisa 1 and 2. Listen what he said and how passionate he was talking about ring fencing back in 2019 as the opposition leader. They sold us out to the foreigners, the oil companies. Every time there is a find out there, our people should, should be sad because nothing comes our way. We are going to renegotiate those contracts because that's not what we had in mind. When we were in the early days, we were coaxing the people to go along. They, they came into office, three billion barrels of proven reserves, and then gave up um, a zero royalty, no taxes, no ring fencing. You heard him. PNC sign on Lisa 1 and 2. When was only three billion barrels found? He went in and approved both projects when there was nine billion barrel. He took over and did a million times worse than what the PNC did. Approve Lisa 3 and 4 without that same ring fencing for both projects. Brothers and sisters, had he ring fenced that 3 and 4 project by now, Guyana, all of us would have been getting full 50%, a full half of every barrel of oil coming up in Lisa 1, just less the little costs to run the operations. And not that cranky looking 12.5% we get in as profit. By him, not installing that same provision, ring fencing, that he views out and cost down the PNC for, Guyana, Guyana will have to stick with that 12 and a half percent of every barrel for years to come. If you don't understand that, watch me here. Guyana's share of the oil will be a half of this quarter bottle rum. Not half of this full bottle, but half of this quarter, this is what you this is what Guyana will get. Yes. Now we're going to approve the fifth project without ring fencing again. You guys know what that means? All of us will have to live with that 12 and a half percent till all the oil is finished. Because they keep on adding billions upon billions on our backs on every other new projects. And that is what they're fooling us. They're fooling you people with and call it half and half profit. I am calling on all Guyanese. Please, I am begging all of you. Please stop this wholesale sellout by President Ali and Vice President Jack Deo of our wealth. Please, the fate of your future, your children's future, and generations to come is at stake. Stand up now for yourself and your future. God bless you guys. This is a message from Glenn Lal. Please share it.